Zigbee pairing. Today we're going to pair up a Zigbee, but before we do that, we want to check a few settings on the inverter. Before we open up the case, we'll always turn off that one zero toggle, put it in the zero position, and let the DC voltage bleed down. We'll enter the menus, doing a long hold on enter, and using the password 1231232. Scroll down to communications, tap enter, and then select server, hit enter, and we'll set that server to Zigbee, down arrow, and then enter. After that, we'll stay in the communications menu, and we're going to check out the Zigbee config. We should be set to protocol, MPS, device ID 1. The other thing that we'll check, especially if we're pairing up a new gateway, is the load Zigbee defaults. This will help us clear out any old PAN IDs that may be in the memory. To change the node to a yes, use either the up or down arrows and hit enter. On your Zigbee unit, you want to check the version of Zigbee gateway you have. If it's a K or K5 model, you can see that in the part number. For Ks, you want it to be set to legacy. And for K5s, we'll set it to Zigbee 2007. Pairing on the gateway is pretty simple. All we have to do is hold down on that red button for about five seconds until all the lights turn on. Once they do, release, and the lights will blink for a few minutes. During this process, you can check the server status screen, and the screen will occasionally tick from gateway not found to master not found if the negotiations between the inverter and gateway are going well. After that, just verify that the link light is blinking once every five seconds. If it does, take it inside, plug it into the network, and you're good to go. Thanks for joining us in the Solar Edge Learning Lab.